Hello everyone and welcome back to the Savage Garage. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to change a fuel filter on a Vauxhall Corsa. So here I've laid in front of me on my workbench all the stuff you're going to need to do this job today. Um, I'll start from the left over here we have a container. This is just to catch any fuel that comes out of the filter when we remove it, um, just so it doesn't spill on the floor. Uh, we have a special pair of pliers here. These pliers are specially used to remove fuel filters. Um, you'll see they've got like the pincers on top. I recommend getting these if you're doing this job, it just makes things like a hundred times easier. You haven't got a faff round of trying to find a tool that works. Um, they're only about £10, so it's a good investment for your toolbox. I'll put a link to them in the description where you can get them from. Uh, we also then have a ratchet and a 10mm socket. Some eyewear because we're dealing with petrol today and getting it in your eyes is not going to be any fun. A small screwdriver. I'll show you why that came in handy in a second. We have a rag just to mop up any spilt fuel. Um, and of course our replacement fuel filter. If you're getting this one, uh, that's the number on the back, just for any information. I also just want to add that I have actually jacked the back of the car up, mainly to make it easier for me to film, um, but it does make the fuel filter a lot easier to access. Um, so if you want to do that, feel free. So the first thing we need to do is locate the fuel filter on our car. On this particular car, which is a 2002 Vauxhall Corsa C, um, it's located at the rear driver's side, just in front of the rear wheel, uh, just here. I'll just get down and show you. So just here, underneath the car, is where the fuel filter is. It's this canister right here, and there's a fuel line going in from the fuel tank. The fuel line coming out that goes to the front of the car. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here, which just holds it to the car that we need to remove. Um, and apart from that, it should be easy to change. I've also just set up my bowl right here just to catch any fuel that comes out. So before we can remove the filter from the car, what we need to do is release the fuel pressure. If we were to remove that fuel filter without releasing the pressure, um, there's a good chance we're going to get sprayed with fuel pretty badly. Um, and it's just going to make a mess and it's just not needed. Um, so there's two ways we can do this. The first way, the way that I'm going to do it, on the fuel rail in the engine bay, there is actually a release valve um, and you just have to press it with a small screwdriver. That's what that's for and that will release any pressure in the system um, and I'll make it safe to remove the fuel filter. The other way you could do it is you could remove the fuel pump relay, uh, turn the car over a few times, uh, the fuel pressure will then decrease um, and then you can remove your fuel filter that way. So, Okay, so here we are in the engine bay. Um, the first thing to do is obviously locate the fuel rail. Uh, the injectors are all here, so this here is the fuel rail. Um, it goes all the way across and then on the very end there's this screw cap here, which you need to remove, and the valve is just inside there. So I'm going to remove this. It just twists anti-clockwise. And there you can see is our valve that we need to release the pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and stick some tissue just down here, um, just to stop any spillage. And then all I'm going to do is come in here, push this with a screwdriver to release the pressure. Get a little squirt of petrol come out. and now it's stopped. You can see I'm pushing on that. And there's nothing coming out at all. So that's our pressure relieved. Uh, it's now safe to take off the fuel filter. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is try and release these pipes on either side. The plier's job is to push in both of the clips on either side. There's one here and there's one on the opposite side. And um, that's why you've got the two little pincers. So I'm just gonna push down on them. And that should release the pipe. Might just need a bit of a wiggle. If they're quite tight on there, like mine are, you may just need a flat blade screwdriver just to pry it off as well. So I'm going to push on them. I'm going to take my screwdriver and just push it off. Pretty much there now. We had a little bit of fuel come out, but that's now off, as you can see. we we'll do the same on the other side. As you just saw, we had a little bit of fuel come out. Um, that's normal, it's just what was in the lines. So I'm going to do the same to this side. Again, I'm going to come in here on my screwdriver, just pry it off. These are a little bit tough on there, I think this has been on there a while, but just pull them. That 
lights that one off as well. That's just the fuel that's left in the filter coming out. Once that's drained out, I'm just gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt and then we can pull this filter out. Like so. And then this just pulls down and the filter just should just come out. But be careful because there's probably still gonna be petrol in this. that in there. Okay, so we're just going to grab our new filter, just pull it out, just compare the two, make sure that they're the same, same sort of shape, same sort of size, which they are. And how you can see that's still dripping a bit, um, but this one is exactly the same. Then I'm just going to remove these two little black rubber caps off the end. Now, this bit's quite important. There is an arrow showing you direction of flow. Um, the direction of flow is gonna be pointing towards the front of the car. Um, so the petrol's gonna come from the tank here, through the arrow, and then out this side. Uh, so that's the way it's gonna go on. So we're just gonna sit this inside of our little clamp like that. We're then just gonna go ahead and refit our lines. So I'm gonna do this side first. Make sure that our little clips are orientated the right way. You can see that all right. And then just gonna do this side. Making sure that our clips are correct. And then it's just a case of pushing these on until they clip in. Like so. You hear that click, that's now in. Same with this side. That's clicked in too. Last thing to do is just to reinstall our 10 millimeter bolt. Like so, I'm just gonna wipe the area down so it's dry so we can see if it leaks at all. Um, and then we can start the car up. Okay, so I'm just going to refit our cap on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the keys in and put it all the way. Just let the fuel pump prime that filter a little bit. It might turn over a little bit before it starts. It's just got to uh, repressurize the fuel system and get that fuel from the tank through the new filter all the way to the front of the engine. So I'm going to give it a crank. And we're good. So I'm just going to let this thing run for about five minutes, make sure that it doesn't cut out. Um, that way we know that the fuel's getting all the way to the front. I'm also just going to check around the filter area for leaks. Um, we don't want it to be leaking petrol anywhere. So there we go guys, nice, simple, easy fuel filter change. It is just a five, ten minute job. So easy to do at home. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment down below if there's anything else you want to see me change. And I'll see you in my next video.